Hey everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I'm Zelda Master and in this episode we're gonna continue sailing the Great Sand Sea as we look for clues for the lost ship that holds the Sacred Flame according to Captain Skipper I believe. Uh, you know we're looking for the ship so we have to investigate this area which is his retreat. Um, and now that we have the Sea chart, I believe he's gonna allow us to sail to our next destination. So that house holds many dear memories of my family. Yeah, we saw a lot in the last episode, like all the pictures and stuff he's taken, and also his dead friends. So, yeah, pretty nice house. But sadly, it's it's been a while since then. So, yeah, they're all dead. If he's not in the time shift crystal, he'd be dead too, like in the aura where it takes you back. But I wonder when I'll be able to go home. I, I, funny how I just talked about it. I don't think you ever will be, buddy. Uh, unless, I guess we move the time crystal up there, his house will always be living, in a sense, which is kind of cool. But yeah, I really want to see my family again. I guess it's possible, we just went over that. But yeah, shall we set sail? Let's set sail then. Let's go, man. So anchors away. Alright. Yeah, I believe he's just gonna pinpoint the next destination, and it's gonna be just as easy as, uh, you know, making it here. Uh, pretty much sailing the giant sand sea isn't that difficult, because things, like, load up to you as you move. It's like, the game has really horrible render distance, in a way, uh, with the time shift crystal rendering out people as we go on, so it's, like, never an issue to avoid enemies and whatnot, but... Yeah, as uh, I talk, I should just spam through the dialogue, because I feel like I'm already talking about what he's mentioning, and uh, I'm wasting time not doing anything. But yeah, the shipyard is at that location. Cool. He marked it up on our map. We're going to go ahead and mark it as well, and now we can just set sail like that. So yeah, the shipyard is where we used to build our ships. My ship was built there too. If you go to the shipyard, you might find some clues to, lo to the location of my ship. Nice. Okay, set sail. All right, sounds good. Now we're off. Um, so yeah, there's not much you want to do. I know it's weird because it's so huge and it, at least I would assume that there's like so much to discover and you know there might not be islands marked on the map and whatnot, but no, everything you, you see is what you get uh, aside from the one invisible ship. You know, we can't see that on the map, but we can see everything else. So sadly, uh, yeah, there's not really much to investigate. We already pretty much sailed to half of the islands that can be, uh, you know, a, like, uh, pretty much islands you can visit. We've so far visited two of them, and there are four in total, so that's, yeah, half, and whatever. But let's go ahead and just sail our way over there. Uh-oh, okay. Was I attacked? No, I'm not. Okay, we're good. Yeah, don't get yourself trapped. I, f I feel like the best way to do it is to, like, hug a corner, kind of like this. That way you don't hit any rocks, and it's kind of like, you know, you have your own space, and once you do that, then... Just slowly inch your way to dock, and now we can get out. So, yeah, not too eventful. It's actually pretty boring sailing. It's cool, though, because it's a different mechanic. It's not like flying, and it's similar to Wind Waker. And I don't know, I like it, but like I said, the visuals aren't too pretty with us not seeing too much sea. We're mainly sea sand. So, yeah. But here we are in the Pirate's Stronghold. I'm not sure if uh, Skipper mentioned it, but. Welcome. It's a uh, it's not that pleasant of a place, but we arrived. This is the island we used to build. We used to make our ships. Uh, what? Okay. He said that before, but he added something else, which is you'll find uh, the shipyard here as well as the town where workers live. That's kind of cool. How they lived in an area that was operated by minecarts, and to get anywhere you had to use minecarts, which is really cool. There's a construction bay. Sadly, the entrance is closed, but there is another entrance all the way around, so we have to pretty much navigate around the whole island, so yeah, each location on the island is linked to the other via a minecart track, which is what I mentioned. So yeah, you might be able to get back the, to get to the back door of the construction bay if you get around to the other side of using a minecart, yeah, that's what we need to do. So there's the minecart station over there, alright, thanks man, I think you said enough though. You should head to the station first, I'll wait here, yeah, of course. Of course, you know, he, he, he can't leave, so why the heck not? Alright, let's get going though. I'm gonna quickly read this and just continue on. I, f I feel really nasally and I apologize if my voice sounds like absolute crap, but I can't do anything about it and I don't wanna like just... Okay, you know what? For the first time in my life, 
I'm gonna fight these guys the way you're intended to. No, no, no. So back up. All right. Let's not get hit a bunch. Come on. So which way do you want to block? Come on, do it. Block, dude. So I can just start spamming. There you go. Attack, attack. Yeah. Wait, I didn't shield bash. Whatever. Either way, I kill them without getting hit for uh, half of my HP because. Yeah, every time I fight these guys, I just uh, wiggle my Wiimote, hoping I'll kill him. I, I play it like I play Twilight Princess on the Wii, you know? Just whatever attack is going to work, but that's not how it works. You need a shield bash, and you need to go insane, and hit him in their membrane. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we killed him, and I didn't get hurt by the second guy, and my shield is fully re replenished with HP, so we're doing good. <laughs> kind of. Uh, hopefully we do well in the shipyard center. So, hey, it's a Goron. Man, I love the tattoos these Gorons have. I, I wonder if it's like a birthmark or not. I think it is. It's like a tribal thing. Like, uh, Gorons have always been like the tribal type uh, Zelda type. I don't They just look like cavemen. Look at them. I mean, they're rock people. So, yeah. But let's go and speak to one. So, the station here was used by folks heading into the mines. People ride, still ride the minecarts all over the place, though. This place is deserted. What are you talking about? I am probably supposed to tell you there is some safety information about using the carts posted on the wall over there. Cart riding can be uh, dangerous at times, so I suggest you give that stuff a quick read. All right, thanks. That's actually pretty helpful. Let's go ahead and check it out. It's not like I need it, but I'm going to check it out. So, approach your car over there. That's how you get on, and then you want to lean with your body with the Wiimote. I hate this part because my Wiimote never works, so I always fall off of the cart, and you're going to see what I mean in a second. But yeah, if you're moving too fast, you can press B to slow down and shake the Wiimote uh, upwards to move over obstacles, which you don't have to do. That's completely useless. I don't know why they have that, but you can uh, make it through this whole section without actually shaking the Wiimote. So yeah, leaning like this. Check it out. <laughs> it looks funny. And he, you know, like moves around. He just pretty much moves his elbow, elbows. But you need to lean the direction you're turning, or you will fall off of the minecart, uh, and that's not fun. But it's cool because I'm on a roller coaster essentially. <laughs> I really like this section of the game, and I like the music it plays. Everything about it is just super, uh, like hyper in a sense. And I don't know, it's just exciting. Like I really like this section of the game. It's like a little mock section where you have to take in this whole sand sea and just move around. It's Actually, literally like it was meant to be an attraction, almost. Um, you know, this is uh, shipyard land, you know? I I've never been to Disneyland or like Disney World or whatever. Actually, I don't think I've ever, like Six Flags even. I've never been to an amusement park uh, here in the States. But I've been to two outside of the States. I'm not going to get into it, but uh, yeah, I have yet to... Um, to try any of those amusement parks out, which I really want to do because uh, you couldn't tell, you know, I wasn't that excited, you know, in the minecart there, but I love uh, theme parks and rides like that. So don't take this, by the way. This is stupid because you're just going to head back to Skipper. Uh, it's like a shortcut, kind of like Skipper's Retreat, same old ordeal, but, eh, you know, we want to continue on on the minecart, so let's do that. Uh, let's see what this day, the construction bay. All right, this will take us straight to it. So back on. Uh, but yeah, no, recently though, I I did do something similar to like a theme park, I guess, sort of. I forgot already what it was called, but it was an upside down house in Orlando. I feel stupid not knowing the theme park or the, the name of the area, but it was really cool because they have a virtual um, roller coaster, which I got to experience. And it's not that I've never experienced a roller coaster, like I said, I just haven't in the States, so... Yeah, and I, I know that seems really vague because you're like, oh, so you lived outside of the States? Yeah, but I, I don't get into it because, uh, you know, it was Hyrule and no one's going to believe me. I'm kidding. Uh, no, but I don't, I don't, I pr I'd prefer not to get too much into it in like a video like this. So, yeah, my point is I really want to visit one because I love the way this works and it looks really fun and hopefully I can make it to the end without falling I don't want to hit B to lower the speed because I'm a rebel and I don't need that crap I mean I know they tell you to slow down if you're moving too fast but honestly like I don't really need it you know you just gotta react quickly to how things work and you will be golden this is so cool man this is really cool if you fell off right now you'd have to start from the beginning and it'd be really unfair all right this is where you're supposed to shake your Wiimote but I never do and I usually make it yeah I didn't even bother so that's proof that you don't have to shake your Wiimote. 
Uh, but aside from that, let's go ahead and break these and I guess check out this. I don't think you can land in any of these sections of the game. Oh, I should have read that little sign. I, I like just looking at all of the little uh, tips they leave within the game, seeing what they want you to figure out on your own. But um, this is the construction bay. Master, we have arrived at the, con the shipyard construction bay. Yeah. Looks like there's a D-pad like engraved on the wall. It's kind of cool. I like the design for this area, but as you can tell, it's deserted. No ships, no anything going on. So yeah, with the passing of many years, this structure has filled with sand, and everyone in it has died. So I can recommend looking into in the sand for a clue that may direct you to the location of the ship. All right, that's the plan. Let's go ahead and take out our gust bellows and just start blowing. But yeah, this is honestly really disappointing and. Those who played the game know this section. The construction base sucks because, yeah, you see this little hill here? Uh, I wonder what lies underneath it. We're going to figure out right now as I pick up this jelly blob because I'd rather have that first. I don't want it to go away on me because they're kind of there to come up across. But, yeah, okay, so here we go. I wonder what's inside. Oh, my God. It's an enemy. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's molder rich or whatever its name is yeah this guy we fought him before and i'm not looking forward to him i thought i was gonna have to uh hit you in the other hand but i guess not okay let's just hit any hand i suggest not targeting it on him so the second he opens one of his hands you can easily target and then just go in and it's a nice way to see which hands he opens up see this one he's oh, back up and then go in for that break that one and um, we can just focus on this one now. So we're good. But yeah, an easy boss, like, this is not one that you need to worry about getting hit by. But that's not the issue at hand. It's just, like, this boss was the, I'd say, the dumbest down boss. Like, I don't know. When you compare it to even Goma from, like, Ocarina of Time, this is, like, what is this, man? This is so easy. And, like, I don't feel nervous fighting this guy. It's like I'm waiting until I can attack his hand. I would even try dodging him, and, like, he's not attacking me. <laughs> so there we go. I broke his hand, and now the last part is just this. Uh, just jab. People tell me not to do that. A lot of people said it's stupid to jab and just go for strikes. Anything works. I don't believe you. So I'm going to go for a jab. Uh, just like that, and we're done. So yeah, flawless run of this boss, uh, but that's the point. The reason why he was so easy and so, like, dumbed down to, like, other bosses is because... I mean, I guess Nintendo realized that, like, wow, this boss is pretty easy. Let's throw him again in the game for no reason. So that's maybe why he was here again. But yeah, he's not really that satisfying to kill. But Master, it would appear that in the many years of the factory, uh, of this factory went unused... Monsters have moved and built a nest. Yeah, I noticed that, and we killed it already. Now, I estimate a chance of finding the clue here uh, is extremely low. She didn't give us 100%, so if you continue searching in here and waste your time, you know, let's just start searching. You know, ah, oh, man, there's no way it's not here. You know, we came all the way here. Uh, what's his face told us about it? Like, you know, we just, it has to be here. Let's keep looking. And there's a lot of sand, too. And it goes down pretty deep, so you'd only assume that there's some awesome secret that lies in here uh, that will, I guess, help us out with uh, locating the ship. But I guess not, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you keep doing this, like, for a really long time, because I remember the first time I played this game, I literally had no idea what I was supposed to do. Fi should tell you that you're wasting your time. She didn't tell you straight up, but okay, there we go. Now. A report master, I calculated a 0% chance of searching further in this location. Yeah, so pretty much the game is just like, please stop wasting your time. Clearly, you didn't get the hint that we should head back to the ship and continue investigating because this place is abandoned. So, yeah. I don't know why I felt like it was necessary to show off because I clearly knew that by now, but uh, I guess I found it kind of cool. I, I, I mean, I, it's kind of interesting. So you guys know how I figured out what I was supposed to do afterwards. Um, that's kind of how I figured it out. So, yeah, now our next destination is going to be, uh, if we speak to him, so my ship wasn't here. Uh, then there is only one place for us to look for clues. This could be scary, but we have to head to the stronghold of the pirates who stole my ship. So let's not waste time. Anytime. All right. We're going to wait, though, because that will be done in the next episode. Yeah, we've been knocking out these little islands located around the sand area. 
pretty, uh, you know, I, I, I think we've been doing well, you know, not too much per episode, but we've been investigating new areas within each game that we're never really gonna come back to, like, ever. Um, I believe, though, there is a, uh, a goddess cube that I completely forgot that might be located, not here, actually, I, I don't know, maybe there is. If there is, then I might have to get it. Uh, next time, but for now all I do know is that we're most likely never coming back here or back to Skipper's Retreat, so it's good to have them done with and uh, They were kind of a waste of time at least this area was a complete waste of time, so Yeah It's whatever. Thanks for watching guys next time. We're gonna head over to the pirate stronghold. I'll see you all then Bye